ride today, huh? Very good. Let's go back to the uh, airplane. Okay, I'm Brad Lang. I'm here at the uh, AMA West Expo uh, 2018, and I'm going to take Stone, one of our volunteers, AMA volunteers, up in my AT6 Texan, which is a World War II trainer. Everybody knows the T6 Texan, which is designed to train boys and girls, men and women, to fly fighters. So you got basically about 200 hours flying the T6, and then you step into the fighter airplanes, a single place uh, fighter aircraft. And we're at Bracket Field today, and part of our flight today with Stone will be going over the AMA uh, Expo West event, the flyover. We'll make a couple passes at about 150 miles per hour, low approaches. Then we're going to come back in and land, and that's going to be it. It's going to be a short but fun flight. What do you think, Stone? Uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's going to be cool Thank and you. loud. Good, uh, very smooth until uh, he dropped a little bit. That was actually kind of fun. I really liked the part where uh, we went over the lake and the wing kind of went down a bit. That was real pretty. Got a nice photo of that. Very good. So we took off, and there's a lake on the uh, west side of Bratton Airport that you have to pass over. So when Stone was saying we dip the wing down, we have to turn. And in this case, we turn left. So you get a lot. A uh, closer look at the lake. It's very pretty with the sun glistening on the water. Then we uh, made a left downwind, came back, we're doing about 150 miles an hour, and then snugged up close on the downwind towards the complex so we could pass over the area where they're flying the aircraft and their spectators were so they could see us. Um, we did that several times. Uh, we made a low approach to the runway, 26 left, and then we zoomed up a little bit higher back to the pattern out to 2,000 feet. No free rides, huh, Stone? That's right. No such thing as a free breakfast. <laughs> that's what my, my parents told me. Okay. We got the back one? This That's perfect. This goes in the exhaust. This goes in the oil cooler front underneath the nose. You see the shape? It's a rectangle. Just pump it in like that. I'll cover up the carburetor because it's great to fly, but we have to take care of the airplane right there. That's perfect. That's for the oil cooler. Per perfect. That's perfect. No wonder it's so. Got the oil on it. The airplanes are, are dirty. Let's go over here. This one goes there. Right here. And match the shape. Perfect. Make sure the flag is hanging down. Uh, turn it around. There you go. Like that. So you can see the move. You know, I started flying uh, airplanes, a control line Cox PT-19, that's kind of yellow and blue. And then after that, I got into radio control aircraft. So I really enjoy flying. Uh, and it all started with the models, of course. And that's part of the reason why I'm here and able to share it with people like Stone. I've always really liked flying up in planes and building them with my dad. Um, although I haven't built many and I haven't flown many either. But uh, yeah, ever since I was a little kid, I've gone up in planes with my granddad. I really liked uh, how friendly people have been here and uh, really just how uh, warm Colorado is. Or, yeah, California <laughs> is after living in the snow in Colorado where it snows in the summer. And I think the expo is a great way for family to come out and introduce her 
boys and girls and people to aviation and also to cars and rocketry, all sorts of STEM projects where you have science involved and perhaps excite their imagination to do something in the future with them and maybe have a career and if not certainly have a lot of fun and it's been a beautiful weekend so far lots of warm friendly people and for those of you who haven't come I would recommend the Expo, AMA Expo to anyone interested in this kind of thing, this kind of hobby. It's a lot of fun.